friends welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Shireen and I'm so glad you're here I am in the process of giving our home office a makeover and I made it this far in this video which I think is gonna be the coolest one today I'm gonna be making some floating shelves here with LED light installed and it's gonna be so cool and just so you know I want to tell you that I had a different approach as to how I was gonna make these shelves and wood is freaking expensive like the wood I wanted to use was so pricey like I would have spent over $200 on wood alone not like brackets or supplies or anything and I was like I did not think I needed to spend like a few hundred dollars on shelves it is a really large wall like the full length of this wall is 13 feet and I want to make two shelves so it's like 13 plus 13 plus light plus brackets and all that so I actually found some materials that I think is gonna work super cool and it's gonna be like a really good finish and today at Home Depot I spent like $125 and I bought like way more stuff that I need for like other parts of the project that is not related. Like I would say so far I spent like $50 on the shelves and I think that that's all I need. So let's do it. I came across this raw wood unpainted chiplap. This wood is called chiplap because it has like a dent right here. It's not a dent, it's a on purpose obviously like slip i guess and it has the same thing over here and the idea is if you were using this for a design they would all clip into each other kind of like legos okay so when i saw this i was like oh my god perfect this is how wide i want my shelves to be i do want to stain it so the fact that it's like raw wood that's like really good and i did want to do led light you guys my original plan was to get a piece of wood and actually route something like this so that I can hide my LED and when I saw this I was like oh so something I want to tell you so the width of this wall is 13 feet and they have this in two sizes they have an 8 feet piece and they have a 12 feet piece so regardless of which one I would have bought I would have had to have a seam and so right next to the cost of the piece they tell you how much it is per linear foot and so the eight feet pieces were cheaper than the 12 feet pieces and i was like i almost went for the 12 like i don't know why i almost went for the 12 it's because i know i need a big piece but it's a good thing to check that because it was easier to fit in my car going with the eight and i have to have a seam somewhere anyways so it was fine with me and i saved a little bit of money let me tell you my plan so this is my blue wall this is gonna go on my wall kind of like this I'm gonna hide my LED light over here but then this is what my front looks like it's like a step okay so that doesn't look nice and this piece of wood look at that it has flat it's flat over here it's flat up here and it has this like nice round edge right here and look how well it fits right here okay how perfect is this so this would be the front of my shelf like this if I had like a picture frame or something over here it wouldn't slip off and the front kind of looks a little bit wider than the actual shelf so I'm first measuring and cutting my pieces each of the shelves will be two pieces one piece is probably gonna be an eight foot the original size of this and then I'm gonna cut down the other eight feet to finish up the 13 long feet then I'm gonna glue this right here like this using clamps to dry the glue I want the glue to dry really good I'm like taking my time so I'm gonna go do all that work in the garage I'll film like a time lapse for you
after cutting and gluing all my pieces together I can see here that there are some very small gaps between the two pieces of wood so I just got my wood filler and I'm filling in between those gaps so once I'm done with the project hopefully the front of my shelves will look like really smooth and you can't even tell that there's two pieces of wood glued together now I'm gonna use my sander to sand off like all these edges Okay, I got done with sanding and I give everything a really good wipe to get all the sand dust off of like everything. And I also went ahead and sanded the bottom because it's so much softer now, it's so smooth. And I feel like the bottom is gonna be the thing we see the most, just like when you hang the shelves up and we're sitting on the desk, I want the bottom to look really nice and smooth. And now it is time to stain. For the stain, I got this stain from Home Depot. I love the color. I think this color will look really nice in the room, but I also love that it's water-based because it dries much faster. It has less odor, but I don't know. I've never really stained anything before. I'm going to use this sponge. I got this sponge from Dollar Tree and it's like a pack of three different types of sponges. It's for applying wax to cars and stuff. I think it will work. I don't know. I'm going to try. And if I end up using something else, of course, I'll let you know, but let's just see how this goes. I finished staining everything and I'm loving the color like the more it dries the more it becomes like the color that I want it to be so I'm letting that dry in the garage and while that's happening I am going to work on the placement of those shelves so first I'm gonna find all the studs and label them with a the tape and I am also going to mark where I want each shelf to go Okay, after a lot of moving around, I decided that this was a good gap. So the gap from the white to here is 12 inches and from here to here, it's more like 18 inches or so. So I think I'm gonna go with that. Next, I'm gonna actually draw the lines of where my shelf is gonna land. And I'm gonna use the same technique I used to draw this line up here. So I'm using a white color pencil to hopefully be able to show you what the dashes I'm gonna make look like, but I'm so sorry if it doesn't turn up in the video. This is a 12 inch ruler. So I put the ruler here, like at the top, like right there, okay? And then I mark the bottom of the ruler, like a nice mark right here. And I do that every six inches or so. Okay, this is good. You see on the top, there is like white dashes and then there is the blue tape marking the studs and then there is more white dashes on the bottom that marks the second shelf. I hope that's clear. It's time to bring in the shelves. I like, I think I have been so nervous about this moment, like bringing in the shelves and looking at the color on the blue wall with the white desks. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. I keep telling myself that. <laughs> oh my God. I love that wood tone. Just look at the wood against the blue. Okay, so here is one of my shelves. This is the front of it. See that curve? And this is gonna be the top of the shelf and this is gonna be the bottom. So my plan is to use these brackets like this. 
So this is kind of like an L-shaped bracket. Can you see where like one side is shorter and one side is longer? So I am using the longer side on the shelf itself and the shorter one is gonna go up against the blue wall. And the reason why I am doing that is because once I have this up on the wall, when I look up, I wanna see the least amount of bracket possible. That's why I'm making the shorter side be against the blue wall. Also, once this is up on the wall, I'm gonna evaluate how the condition is, but I'm probably going to paint this part blue just so you can see it like it will like blend in with the wall as much as possible anyways let me go over the screws for the piece that's going in the wall i am using this inch and three quarter screws let me show you the box they look like this and then for down here i got these tiny screws look how tiny they are and this is what the box looks like I hope this all made sense. I'm gonna go ahead and mount them using exactly what I explained. And if I do anything differently, I will correct myself. But hopefully my plan will work. day two of the floating shelf building project um, i'm really happy because on day one i got so far with this project i'm like really happy with that on day one i spent five and a half hours and that included like everything from start to this point and that includes the trip to home depot figuring out the wood picking up the wood bringing it back and all that so i'm very happy with that Obviously you can see the silver brackets and I am gonna cover that with blue paint so you won't be able to notice it once I'm done. But there was one thing I wish I planned for before cutting the wood and I wanna bring the camera closer and show you what that is. So right here is where my two boards meet and where they meet I had to put a bracket which I hadn't planned for. So this bracket is here to hold the two woods together to keep them on the same level. The thing is though, I don't have a stud here. Like my stud is here and here, and where my wood was cut, landed in a place where I didn't have a stud. So while this bracket holds the two shelves together, it's actually not very well anchored to the wall. And I think that's fine because I have other brackets that are anchored to studs that are holding the shelf pretty good. But had I planned it better, I could have cut my wood where a stud lands so that when I use the bracket to mount the two pieces of shelves together, it would have actually landed on a stud. Okay, on day two, this is what we're gonna work on. I'm going to install LED light on the bottom of these shelves. Okay, that did not go as planned. So I was trying to install these LED lights, which I have installed in my bedroom, and I love them. I love them in my bedroom, and I basically want them in almost every room of my house, and that's why I wanted to install them here. But they didn't work quite as well here, and I had to learn that the hard way, because those LED lights need quite a large amount of space around them so that they can diffuse nicely and only show like a nice halo of the light without you seeing the actual like light bulbs, like where the light source is coming from. 
they do sell diffusers for these lights on Amazon and at the Home Depot. So I went ahead and grabbed some and I used it and it still didn't diffuse barely anything, maybe like 10% or something, but it barely diffused the light and that is not the look I was going for. Also, <laughs> another thing I noticed, which I don't know how I didn't think of that before, but these lights look really good in the evening once you turn off the light and you're cozying up you're watching a movie you're doing this and i don't know why i thought like these would be cool in the office as i was testing these lights it quickly came to me the fact that whenever i'm using the office it's going to be daylight the light is gonna be on i'm gonna be on the computer like i need light it's a day thing it's not an evening thing so anyways in conclusion i am not doing the led light i just don't think they are the right fit for this space and in the future if i come across something that i think is a good fit for that application i had in mind i will update you guys either here on youtube or on instagram for now i just want to finish the shelves i'm gonna go ahead and cover all the brackets up so here is my plan for covering these brackets i am not going to worry about the portion that's on the shelf because i'm gonna like place some decor piece over it so you'll eventually not see that but this part what i'm going to do is i'm going to use painter's tape to cover this part completely it's going to be nicer than this and i'm going to paint over the painter's tape the same color as the wall and that will blend in very good and the reason why i'm applying painter's tape first is because I want to be able to remove these if I have to remove them in the future and I feel like if I paint over it that could screw up uh, the screw head and I may not be able to take it out easily so I feel like painter's tape will make a good cover. totally like you cannot see the brackets at all and i'm not just saying that because it's on camera like when i turn i actually have to like try to find the spots of the brackets so i think i'm really happy i'm really happy this is exactly what i wanted and it worked out so good and like i mentioned in the beginning of this video these shelves like material wise is probably less than 50 dollars. i promise and they're huge each shelf is 13 feet long so that's a total of 26 feet of shelving and just i love it i love it and this is kind of like this section over there is just an idea of how i would decorate it but i actually don't have enough like decor pieces to fill up the shelf i have some ideas for frames and plants that i plan to like diy and put them up so keep an eye out on my channel if you want to see how i'm gonna do that and please consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this